Hi, welcome. I'm Maria from Read Fine Books and today is Poetry Thursday. I'm starting this series because I haven't read poetry in a long, long time. The last time I read some poems is back in high school. And I haven't read any poems in English. All my favorite poets are Romanian so far and I'll share some of them with you. Today I'll share my favorite poem in high school and my favorite poet. But uh, in the next episodes I'll dive into some English classics because I'm really really curious about them and I found a course on them on Coursera so I'll be sharing what I'll learn there as well. I find that to read poetry you must really pay attention and be in the right frame of mind to let it really really move you. I've only recently started again reading poetry and I like it a whole lot more than I've expected to. Today's poem is by Lucian Blaga, a Romanian poet. Uh, this poem appeared in the volume Poems of Light. It was originally published in Romania in 1919. I'll put the link in the description if ever you're interested in reading some more Romanian poetry. Of course, translating poem is very complicated. This poem really sounds 10 times better in Romanian. The translation is quite accurate, though there is something that is lost in translation. I do prefer reading poetry in its original language. This is I do not crush the aura of wonder of the world. I do not crush the aura of wonder of the world and do not kill with thought the mysteries that on my way I meet in flowers, in eyes or lips or graves. The light of others strangles that enchantment hidden in the depths of darkness. But I, with my light, feed the world's mystery. And like the moon with its white rays does not diminish but trembling magnifies the night's secret, I too bejewel the dark horizon with long tremors of holy mystery. And all that is unknown becomes unknown under my eyes because I love the flowers and eyes and lips and graves. I love this poem so much because it actually represents what poems should do for us and what the poet's role is in our world. That is to make us see it, see the world, see its beauty. Through poems, the mystery of the world becomes a little more mysterious the wonder of the world becomes a little more wonderful. I'm curious if this is what you see in this poem too, or if you have another take on it. I'm curious about your favorite poems. Do you share them in the comments? And what exactly they mean to you? Why do you love the poem you specifically love? Let's let's talk poetry today. This is Maria from Read Fine Books. Thank you for watching.